Good afternoon, guys. Uh, so this uh, in this video, uh, we are going to uh, you know solve this uh, very difficult question uh, which I have in front of you. Uh, I have some names over here, the company names, and uh, what I exactly want is that uh, we should have their turnover one by one. So whatever the lookup value is, uh, for example, I have here Marvel Limited, and uh, so ideally I want that the output should be something like this. It should give me the uh, turnover 12, 12,000, and then 23. And if I have some more values here, then you know it should be actually in the downward direction. For example, if I say that uh, you know this is again uh, this marble company and its turnover, let's say this number is 67. So I want to get all the numbers. So what is the way around this? Uh, as you know that uh, you might be aware of the fact that VLOOKUP actually is not a good solution for this because whenever you apply the VLOOKUP. Uh, if you try to achieve this then we look up will always give you the result you know from the very first value so it will stop there it will not go to the second marble so that's the limitation which we have and uh, so now if I have this 12 here which is correct the next time if I drag this formula it will give me uh, you know let me just freeze this C9 which is my lookup value and if I drag this formula down I'll get the same number again and again which is I something I do not want. So I have a solution for this, and these are kind uh, you know uh, these these uh, complex situations are something which I actually uh, you know uh, I train my students uh, specifically uh, in my trainings, and I give them you know these kind of questions so that you can actually uh, get to know what exactly is the approach to you know uh, deal with such uh, difficult situations. So here uh, we may use. VLOOKUP formula as well but in that uh, to use the VLOOKUP we have to actually you know segregate the data we have to uh, do a lot of uh, other adjustments and one of the adjustments would be like this so what I'll do is I'll actually say that if my this value is equals to this lookup value and I'll freeze this then what I actually want is I want that the row number okay the row number for the same uh, for the uh, the row number for the value which is exactly being looked up you know so if you drag this formula down then what will happen is you'll get all the row numbers this is the second row as you can see the marble company and then this is the fourth and then this is the sixth so when I have got all the numbers two four six so what will happen is I'll try to collect them and then uh, I'll make a series uh, one two let me just do this one two three four and I've created you know this kind of a series so I have one two three four five five elements so I'll quickly go ahead and I'll just drag this to five in case if you have a hundred items you can drag this till hundred so what I am going to do is now I'm going to say small I'll get all the numbers in this table so what is the kth element the kth element is the smallest number so this will actually uh, you know give me back my all the values and then what will happen is when I drag this formula down here then it will actually pick this second so this second remember this second is actually going to get into this kth parameter as you can see here so it will look for the second smallest number right so this is what exactly we are trying to achieve here and we'll get all the numbers 246 and these are the numbers which are not available because I have marble only uh, on the second row and then fourth and sixth and so on right so what I'll do is in order to remove these errors I'll use this function okay if error so if there is an error I just you know I can't I don't want to get that error because errors doesn't look good on the excel sheet so it gives an impression that you might have used some wrong formula right so what you can do is uh, you can actually use this if error handling and it will give you the space now here I have collected the row numbers if you if you observed what exactly now the benefit of this is that now we don't have any blank cells here right that's the list which is in a uh, without break you know I'll get all the row numbers now for example if I change this to let's say gen set now forget about these numbers this is something which will evaluate now you see here that the row number is 5 rest all are empty so I'm getting here you know 5 and if I copy this value ABC and if I paste it here I'll get the row number for the ABC right so that's what the aim for this and so the more values you have the more row numbers you have suppose 
if you if I just copy this and I paste this here you know it looks amazing actually you know automatically the numbers are populating that's very nice and you're this is what exactly you're getting here right so let me just undo this and let me come back to my marble so that's exactly we are looking forward to and uh, so we need all these values one by one now when you have collected their you know two four six which are the row numbers so what you can do is you can start applying the VLOOKUP formula here so do one thing in your this uh, table just simply concatenate this with these numbers and just drag this so wherever you have this marble limited it will have all those numbers marble 2 marble 4 marble 6 and now I'm gonna do the VLOOKUP formula so what I'll do is I'll use the VLOOKUP and I concatenate this with this second number and C9 will be freezed so that every time my marble limited should be picked and then I'll go to the table and in this table I select the third column because that's my column and as per the VLOOKUP rule the first column has to be in the primary table in the main table you know it has to be the f first uh, leftmost column right so my lookup is marble limited uh, which is marble limited in the concatenation of two marble uh, so it would be marble limited two so that's why I have selected this range from B if I would have selected this from C then definitely the results were not good right it would have given me the errors because the left your the, uh, in the primary table the lookup column of your table you know has to be the left the first left column of the primary table the main table from where you exactly going and you know checking all those values one by one right that's a rule right so now what we want is uh, we'll freeze this table b2 to d6 which is my this table so that uh, you know this table should not change and uh, now if I drag this down you see that I'll get all the values 12 23 67 and if I further drag it I'll get the error because there is no value but however if I paste this here again you see that this value is again available so I have all the values which are available 12 23 45 67 so that's how you can make this you know a powerful function with the help of if conditions and then you can use the row function and uh, here you can use the small function if error and here we look up so in this exercise what exactly we did we use the VLOOKUP and then we use the concatenate formula okay then we use the if formula as well we use the row formula as well and we also use the if error so that's a good exercise I hope you like this exercise and uh, this is how you know uh, I actually train people and uh, so with this exercise I'm sure that the way you actually uh, used to see the VLOOKUP you should actually start looking you know start uh, looking this uh, VLOOKUP beyond that because VLOOKUP is not just a simple formula that you just go in and you know use the formula that's it no it is not that it is more than that you can do a lot of manipulations a lot of things with that right so uh, in case you can also write here if error if this is going to give me the error then I'll press space okay and then I can drag it now next time if I write here let's say something else maybe uh, some other company let's say the my price this will automatically be gone from here as you can see and there will be no error because we have actually handled it by using the if error right and uh, similarly you can here as well do this thing that if this cell if uh, you can say that if this is not equals to empty which means that I'm getting the row number and why why will you get the row number you'll get the row number only when your this local value would be you know uh, your Excel will find this local values um, you know uh, the same value when it is going to actually search in the primary table so when you have the same combination of the marble limited there you will get the row so that's what I'm saying that if this is going to be blank which means that the, the company which I have written here that is not exactly my lookup company so it should actually give me the space right so if this is going to be space then give me the space otherwise just concatenate them so that the marble limited should concatenate with the two and it should give you marble limited two, right so just press enter and drag this formula now here what will happen is okay so we did uh, actually <laughs> you know the opposite of what we were supposed to do so if this is not equal to actually space so I would say that if this is equals to space yeah like this 
so you get all the companies here and this is what you are exactly doing you are making this concatenation with this 2 and 6 so in other words you are doing this in your own table just, just drag this down so this is what you exactly are doing so since I have the marble limited 2, 5, 6 and only in the main, main table so it is giving me this 2, 5, 6 and this is nothing right because there is there is actually nothing over here so that's why uh, when you use the VLOOKUP instead of uh, you know this formula you can even do this you can use this uh, VLOOKUP here lookup value and you can go here and you can say 3 and 0 and you can you know further phrase this like this and you get the values so wherever you get the error you can use the if error the way we did so here what I did is actually I concatenated C9 and F9 together in the lookup only so that I should not have to use the extra column but in case if you're just new to the VLOOKUP or a beginner and you feel uncomfortable then definitely you can break them and you can use the VLOOKUP like this and from here you know you can pick the formula right guys so that's the end of the video guys and I hope you like the video just don't forget to watch my other videos you will be getting the lot of uh, links you know the hyperlinks on my video and just click on that and go to my videos recently I will just uh, this video will be available in this playlist excel video and you can even check out this video number 20 VLOOKUP error handling that's awesome video it talks a lot about the VLOOKUP handling and uh, similarly I have started this uh, couple of more series uh, you know like dashboard making if you are looking for the dashboard how to make the dashboards I have uploaded four videos already just watch go and watch them and there are uh, some more series which I have started recently which is on the charts and the pivots and what if analysis if you go to the what if analysis you will come to know about the go you know go to feature which is a very dynamic and very powerful actually feature of the excel which is used most of the time uh, when you want to do uh, you know a uh, lot of calculations in just one second so that's the tool and uh, this is my email ID write me in in case if you're looking for some training or maybe if you have some comments to share that's my email ID and uh, I'll come up with some more videos on the same till then bye bye thank you